Hello everyone, I'm the Canadian Gaming Penguin. The Starlight Celebration event began on December 16th, 2021 and will continue on until Friday, December 31st, 2021. Note the time zones. The event begins in Makito's Amphitheater in Old Gridania. In order to participate in the event, players must have a Disciple of War or Magic class or job at level 15 or higher. With this iteration of the event, we have new rewards, but I'll get to those towards the end of the video. And if you just want to skip to that part of the video, there will be timestamps for you to do so. Now, with that said, let's get to the event. And I have no idea what's going to happen with this iteration of the event, as I've not played through it yet. So, here we are in Old Gridania, just outside of Mikito's Amphitheater. Well, okay, now we're in Mikito's Amphitheater. And we have, uh, well, I never know how to say her name, so she's going to be named Amy. <laughs> uh, Am Garanji or something like that is her name. But I got that. So Amy it is. A very yeti starlight. It's that special time of year where the street lights up for the starlight celebration once more and the preparations are underway. Amy is busy readying uh, the for the festivities at Miki uh, Mikito's amphitheater may just have a special task for you. Well, if it isn't my favorite adventurer, I hope you haven't forgotten uh, about me in the year since we last met. You'll be lending a hand with the festivities again this year, won't you? Because I could certainly use your help. You see, I have something of a beast problem. Nothing dangerous, I assure you, but it's not exactly my area of expertise. And I imagine a seasoned veteran such as yourself, with all your experience dealing with Eorzea's most exotic fauna, would be better suited for the task. Come on out, Rudy. Yep. This little fellow is Rudy. At least that's what I've been calling him. He appeared all of a sudden as I was making my usual preparations, and now he doesn't seem to want to leave. I was wary at first, but he hasn't tried to cause any trouble. I dare say he's even be better behaved than some of my little helpers. I've grown so fond of him, I just couldn't resist making him a little costume. Doesn't he look adorable in it? Yep. The only problem is that it's as if he's trying to tell me something. It seems terribly important to him, but for the life of me, I can't figure out what it might be. I don't suppose there's something you might be able to do to help, is there? Yip! Yip, yip, yip! Hmm... Forgive me, I know masking the eye impossible. After all, it's not as if an adventurer like yourself has the ability to commune with beasts. Oh, whatever am I to do? Looks like you could use some help, my dear. Wait, what? What? Did that squirrel just speak? Uh... An auspice, I presume. Oh ho! Uh, side note, so if you haven't gotten through Stormblood yet, and this isn't exactly a spoiler, auspices are basically familiar type things. This is a very bad description of what they are. It'll be explained when you do the extra contact. It's not part of the main scenario quest. It's part of the extra content of the raid, one of the raid series, and it'll explain it pretty quickly when you get to that. You can also look up auspice too, but yes, that was a very, very, a very, very rough definition of them. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, talking squirrel. Oh, ho, so you're familiar with my kind. Excellent. It will allow me to forgo the tedious explanations. But allow me to introduce myself. I am Risai, a wanderer who goes wherever duty, sentiment, and the sweet smell of delectable desserts take me. I am meeting with an old friend is what called me to Eorzea, but your festivities piqued my interest. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation, and it struck me that I might be of service. With Rudy, you can understand him? I would be a sad excuse for an auspice if I could not, so allow me to provide some enlightenment. It seems your furry little friend would entreat a favor of you. To wit, he is troubled by the fact that he's a bit of a runt compared to his brothers. They hardly ever even, even treat him like a real yeti, making fun of him for the tiny snowballs he makes. Snowballs? 
Indeed, I heard that Yeti is incapacitated and captures her prey by blowing frosty balls of snow and ice. Yip, 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 yip. Your friend would politely point out that this is not true of all Yetis. Rudy and his kin live peacefully deep in the mountains, a far cry from the savage beasts that roam Corthus. They vie for supremacy amongst themselves not through violence, but by competing to see who can build the biggest snowballs. Rudy was practicing making snowballs in secret to prove himself when he fell from a small precipice and got himself lost. He wandered the forest aimlessly for days, and he had just about given up all hope when a white-haired fellow found and rescued him. The kindly fellow in question was none other than the Saint of Nibia, he said, uh, he says. Saved our poor Rudy before gallivanting off to the Starlight Celebration. Poor Rudy, alas, didn't even get a chance to thank him. So now he wishes to find the saint and properly express his gratitude. What a touching story! Truly a starlight miracle! And I do very much wish I could help, but... I'm sorry, Rudy. I fear I haven't a clue where the saint is right now. He never sticks to the one place for too long, you see. Always busily delivering gifts to children the realm over. Yep. 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 Uh, the saint will know what you're good. That you're a good yeti. The best way to show thanks would be to pay his kindness forward. Well, might as well. That's right. If you help bring joy to all the young ones for the starlight celebration, you can be one of his little helpers. Why, if you're lucky, you might even be able to meet him again. Yip, 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 yip. Rudy says he would be happy to help. As for the matter. Uh, as for that matter, uh, what, 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 what? Rudy says he would be happy to help. As for that matter, would I? Um, pretty sure that should be so would I? <laughs> uh, at the very least, I can avail you as an interpreter. You'll be lending a hand too, won't you? Uh, um, uh, I guess so? I understand this is all rather sudden, but please tell me you'll agree. I'm sure it would mean the world to Rudy. Sure, I guess I'll help. Splendid! Now let us come up with a plan for getting this little one involved in the festivities. Amy. I leave Rudy in your capable hands. I do wish I could go with you, but my duty as a celebrant prevent me from leaving my post for too long. Rudy and Rissay. Rissay. Yip, yip, yip. Rissay. I thank you again for your aid. Now well, there must be something special Rudy can do for the children this starlight season. Well, what could that be? Might you have any ideas? Yep, yep. What's that you say? The snowballs you make are so tiny that no one would ever want them. Do not be so hard on yourself, my little friend. Clearly your talents simply lie elsewhere. It's our job to help you find them. Perhaps you could join the choir, for example. Can you sing? Let's hear it. Yerp! Thank you, Rudy. That was most unique. Unfortunately, perhaps it's not the best fit for singing starlight carols. There must be something we can do. I would hear your thoughts, adventurer. Uh, we could compose a carol to better suit his voice. Uh, no. He could make snowballs for the snowball fight. Uh, snowball themed gifts should do the trick. Uh, snowball themed gift for the tr to do that. Snowball themed gifts. Hi, by the gods, I think you might be on the on to something. That reminds me, what do you think of the of these Braytel? I picked them up in Ulda. It's some kind of traditional confection, but they look rather snowballish, don't they? Perhaps we could make some similar for the festival goers to nibble on. Yep. That's right, Rudy. This is your chance to prove yourself once and for all. You've go you're going to make the loveliest, most scrumptious snowball treats any Yeti ever has. And we'll be with you every step of the way. You just need to have faith in yourself. Yip, yip, yip. Well, the sweets we're making, I know just the person to help. Mother Mayoon at the Caroline Canopy. I'm staying in a room there, and I must say I found her confections to be second to none. Shall we, then? Rudy. Yep. Versailles. Mother Mion, there's something my friends and I would discuss with you. Yep. Quite 
the motley bunch I see. What is it that brings you all here? Uh, where? Oh, just speaking from over there. Why are we standing so far away? I see. In that case, you've come at the perfect time. I believe I know a way this. Uh, I believe I know a way this might work in both of our favors. I'm in the midst of preparing starlight gift boxes for the children at Bent Branch Meadows. Exotic snow-themed sweets would be a most welcome addition. Then furnish you with said sweets. We shall. Er, that is, once we figure out precisely how we're going to make them. You leave that to me. I'll have a working recipe for you before you know it. In the meantime, might I ask you to pick up some of the ingredients we'll need in advance? I'll put it all on my tab so you can simply pick everything up and bring it back here. It would be our pleasure. And don't you worry, Rudy. Our adventurer friend and I will handle the transactions. Yep, yep, yep. You do the shopping all by yourself, you say? Silver and need only stand back and watch? If you insist. What an eager little helper your friend is. Here, I've made a list of everything we need. Simply show this to the shopkeepers and they'll take care of you. The flour you can procure at the Whistling Miller and the oil at the Botanist's Guild. And stay warm out there, yes? And with that, let us be off. First stop, the Whistling Miller. With us, Rudy. Yep. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Accidentally hit a key. Um, whistling clerk. Is that a baby yeti? A sigh. So, Rudy hands over this list of ingredients from me own, and the shopkeeper gives us what we need free of charge. This should be simple enough. Rudy. Yep. Is that a baby yeti? Why is it dressed as one of Saint of Nem uh, one of the Saint of Nemia's helpers? Yep, yep, yep. A letter from Mother Mion. Let's see here. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I see. You're running an errand for the Caroline Canopy. Well, I can certainly help with that. Give me just a moment, and I'll fetch you your flower. Here you are. This should be enough to last me on for a while. Don't work yourself too hard now. Yep, yep, yep. Well, would you look at that? It would seem our friend Rudy is a natural at this. I dare say it couldn't have gone any smoother if we did it ourselves. Now to the botanist guild for some oil. Off we go. That little yeti is a friend of yours, I take it. In the other and uh, either event, please send Mother Mion my guards. Uh, my regards. I can English. Masai. All we need now is the frying oil. Well, with any, with any luck, it'll go as smoothly as the last time. Rudy. Yep, 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 yep. Ack, be gone, fellow beast. Back to the forest with you. Yep, yep. Oh, dear. It seems our little friend is something of, uh, is in something of a pickle. We could go to his aid, but let us wait a bit still. It could give the lad more confidence to be able to overcome the predicament himself. It won't leave. Oh, what to do? I'd rather not involve the wood whalers. Yip, 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 yip. Hmm? A note? Could it be that you're on an errand of sorts? Well, I'll be. Cooking ingredients for Mother Mion? And here I thought you some savage beast who'd wandered in here to cause trouble. If frying oil is all you need, I'd be happy to oblige. Just a moment. You thought this little thing was a, ram a, a, a beast that was causing... Gonna yeah, okay. Careful now. It's heavy. And do take care on your way back to the canopy, yes? Yep. Well, would you look at that? Rudy managed to f uh, manage fine on his own after all. And now that we have everything we need, let's head back to the Caroline Cap Canopy and get all of this to Mione. Mione. Sender. Baby Yeti on a shopping errand? Yes, I do believe I've seen everything. Give my best to Mione, will you? Blah. Will you? <laughs> Risa. 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 <laughs> 
He had us worried for a minute, but Rudy did a fine job. Why, we may as well not have been there at all. Rudy. Yep, yep, yep. Good to see you back safe and sound. And just look at how well you performed your little errand. You really are a wonderful little helper. And with that, we have everything we need to make sweet starlight treats for the children. It'll take me a little while to prepare, so how about a cup of piping hot tea while we while you wait? That would be splendid, Mother Mione, though I dare say it might make me even hungrier for a little something sweet to go with it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Amazing! I expected nothing less from you, Mion. Truly, your confections are simply to die for. They actually look really nummy. You flatter me, Rasai. Incidentally, you might be interested to hear that this is a traditional dessert called Schneeballs, named after an old Hellsgard word meaning snowball. A perfect fit for a yeti, wouldn't you say? Oh ho! So it was no mere coincidence they took uh, they looked like little snowballs. Yep. Yep. You know, Rudy, you shouldn't let yourself be discouraged by what your siblings might say to you. There's no shame in being different from everyone else. After all, just look at me. I'm hardly like all the other squirrels out there, and do I let it bother me? Not at all. You we should be proud of what sets us apart from others. Not ashamed. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Once we finish making these, my gift boxes will be ready for delivery to Bent, Bar Bent Branch Meadows. Speaking of which, would you like to help in handing them out? There's no better reward for hard work than watching the children's faces light up with joy. Don't worry, you don't you won't have to do all the work. I'll be asking the Starlight Celebrants to assist as well. Well, what do you say? Yep, yep, yep. Rudy says he'd love to and would most appreciate if you would join us. You'll do this for him, yes? Of course I will. <laughs> you have my thanks. We'll make a few more batches of these and pack them up into the gifts for you. A Amy will be able to tell you what to do from there. Duly noted. Thank you for everything, Mother Mion. Yep. Rusai. Mione's sweets are positively divine. I simply must bring some back for my friends in the east. Rudy. Yep, 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 yep. Amy. Welcome back. I trust that everything is well with our newest little helper. Rudy and the two of you are helping Mother Mione make snowball-shaped confections? What a splendid idea. The children will be delighted, I'm sure. Well done, Rudy. I'm so proud of how far you've come. Yip yip. Furthermore, we would like to assist in the handing out of presents at Van Branch Meadows, if we may. Of course. I wouldn't want you to miss out on the joy of delivering the goodies and seeing the children's smiling faces. Thank you for sticking around, my friend. If you'd like, I'd be happy to tell you more about the festivities so that you can get for, uh, get fully into the starlight spirit. You sigh. As of one of the saint's little helpers, it's Rudy's job to bring presents to the children and put smiles on their faces, and it's our job to help him. Rudy. Yip, yip, yip. Amy. Haha, <laughs> wind up Rudy and wind up Squirrel Emperor are two little rewards, and I'll read the descriptions for those later. Time to shine. Amy knows just what you and your friends can do to put smiles on the children's faces. Well, I do believe it's time to deliver presents to the children. You're still willing to help out, yes? It would be my pleasure. Rudy's in particular, and we'll be there to support him all along the way. Excellent. On to business, then. My fellow celebrant, Bainfold, uh, Bainfeld, has been placed in charge of this task. Seek him out at Bent Branch Meadows, and he'll tell you everything you need to know. Amy. 
head over to Bent Branch Meadows and tell Bane Pal I sent you. He'll tell you just how to how you can go about putting smiles on the children's faces. <laughs> hey, Cali. And uh, this away. Uh, where everybody else is, apparently. <laughs> uh, Rudy. Yep. Yep. Rasai. I say, does Rudy not look a bit distressed to you? I can't say I blame him, of course. Being one of the saint's helpers is a lot of pressure for a little yeti. Painfeld. About time you showed up. Amy mentioned that you might have might be helping out, and believe you me, we could use all the help we can get. Then you will have our then you will have ours. My Yeti friend Rudy, Celebrian and I, Rasai, are more than happy to help to aid. Though I must say, Mother Mion truly outdid herself this time. Just look at all these presents. Might I suggest that we split the duties that we might deliver them to the children in a more efficient manner? Celebrian, why don't you take a batch and go with Rudy? Meanwhile, I'll get started from the opposite side. Yip, 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 yip. Dear me, Rudy's so raring to go that it might be best to stand aside a bit and leave him to it. It would do wonders for his confidence. I'm sure the children would delight in getting a gift from a seasonally fitting snow creature. Okay then. <laughs> Bainfeld. These treats you... These treats you brought us are simply scrumptious. Aye, bite-sized with a nice crispy crunch and just the right amount of sweetness. You best keep an eye on me or I'll eat the whole lot. <laughs> Good to know. Um, so this away, we're gonna follow Rudy, who went this way. Bashful boy. Of course I want a present too, but the man standing in front of them all looks like he could eat me in one bite. Restless girl. I'm starved. I hope her presents come soon so we can go home and eat. Rudy. Yep, yep, yep. A snow beast? Please don't eat me. Yep. A present? For us? Why? You must be one of the saints' little helpers. Rudy gave the children their presents. Wow. These look absolutely delicious. I was just thinking about how hungry I was. Lucky me. Are you sure those, these are safe to eat? I suppose they must be, or that adventure would do something about it. Anyhow, thank you. Thank you, fluffy little helper. We'll be sure not to eat them all at once. Yep, yep, yep. These, snow, these little snowballs are sweet and crunchy. Thank you, little helpers. These are so tasty. Better than anything my mom could make. <laughs> Don't tell your mom that. <laughs> uh, and Rudy went over this way, so back over this way. Demure girl. I wanted to go into the city to see, uh, see the Saint of Nimia, but Mother told me it's too dangerous to go alone. Doesn't she realize I'm not a baby anymore? Dispirited boy. Not the chocobo. Dispirited boy. All I got for Starlight last year was a tattered hand-me-down hat. Then again, I suppose I should be grateful I got anything at all. Rudy. Yep, yep, yep. Wah! It's a monster! You, adventurer, do something about this! Oh, wait! I think it's holding something. What have you got there, little friend? Are those presents for us? Yep! It's funny how the boys are the ones who's being scared. <laughs> Rudy gave the children their presents. What are these? Some kind of snowball shaped cake? I've never seen anything like them before. They look so good. And I'm going to tell all my friends I got them from the saint's cutest helper of them all. They smell delicious. Thank you very much for the gift, little helper. And you too, Mrs. Adventurer. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> Dispirited boy. These snowball, uh, snowball cakes were so good. Demure girl. 
I can't believe I got to meet one of the saint's little helpers and that he was so fluffy. <laughs> it's so fluffy, I'm going to die. Rudy. Yip, yip. Rasai. Behold, Rudy, the children simply adore the gifts you gave them. Bainfeld. You should be... You should be proud of yourselves. Your snowball sweets are the talk of the town, not just among the wee ones. They brought us all a starlight miracle this year. What the? Yetis? Yetis in the city? Take cover at once! That voice, did that come from the city gates? Probably the, the brothers looking for little Yeti here. What in the seven hells is going on? I don't know, not from where, but a pair of the from of the I know not from where, but a pair of most fearsome yetis just stormed into the city. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Hum? Oh, oh dear. Yes, I see. Lend me your ears, friends. There is no need to panic. Our large friends here haven't come to attack us. These are simply Rudy's sibling siblings come to take their little brother home. You're a lucky little yeti to have such good family worrying after you after ya, Rudy. Er, even if they do look like they're about to give ya a good whooping. <laughs> Indeed. I cannot deny that they are a bit perturbed. To hear them tell it, they are rather upset that Rudy allowed himself to be captured so easily. Captured? Think he can't fend for himself, do they? Yep, yep, yep. And tell them that's not what happened. Yep! <laughs> What are they saying? Did they sort it out? Oh, I'd say. Our little friend Rudy really told them off. He told them all about the delicious snowball treats we made together, and how the children's faces lit up when we gave them their presents. He said he may be small, but he's proud as he get proud as can be of what he accomplished. And he won't let anyone belittle him anymore. Yep, yep. Save Rudy. How about letting your brothers try your snowballs? A taste is worth a thousand words, after all. <laughs> Aye, nothing like sharing tasty treats to bring a family together. Well, isn't that nice of him? He just apologized for how they treated Rudy all these times. He says he's proud to call Rudy his brother, and that Rudy is more than welcome to join them, uh, joining their snowball fights and all their yeti games. Yep, 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 yep. Well, hello there, Godbert, or the Saint of Nimia, as it were. <laughs> Versailles. Yeah, if I can click on it. Rudy's brothers have finally accepted him for who he is. Turns out all he needed was a little help and support. Isn't that right, Celebrian? Mm-hmm. Einfeld. Perhaps little Rudy had even more support than we thought. Aye, it's the darndest thing. But I just can't shake the feeling that there's some, uh, someone else watching over us. Rudy. Yep, 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 yep. Rudy says that he intends to return with his brothers to their mountain home, and that he so very much enjoyed his time with us. He only wishes he could have properly thanked the Saint of Nimia before he left. I wouldn't be worried about that. I, I reckon the Saint heard you clear as he can be. Look, 
this was sitting by those tasty morsels you made. It's a letter from you know who. Dear Rudy, your delighted, delightful little snowball treats simply sparkled with festive starlight spirit. I dare say you were the finest of all my helpers this season. Ho ho ho! Do you hear that, Rudy? It would seem the saint was watching your, you work the whole time. Yip. Yip, yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. Yip, yip. Oh, Rudy, of course Celebrian will miss you, too. Celebrian, Rudy says that were it not for you and the rest of us, he never would have realized he was what he was capable of or found the confidence to stand up to his brothers. He says that everyone he met here was so incredibly kind, and it was because of that he was able to make the best snowballs he's ever made. He says thank you, Celebrian, for making the, this the most miraculous, memorable starlight of his life. Yip, yip. Fare thee well, Rudy, and promise that you'll come back to see your friends again someday, yes? Back home you go, then. Take care of yourself out there. I, it'll be lonely here without the little guy. Worry not, my friends. You and Rudy's paths may very well cross again. Somewhat. After all, we never know what fate has in store for us. And with that, we had best return and report to Amy. I, I suspect she'll be thrilled, if sad, to hear that Rudy has gone away home. Einveld. Amy will be overjoyed to hear of your success. I'll go with you, but as you can see, I've got my hands full with gifts still. Risai. Go on, Slammerian. Tell her everything that happened with Rudy. Amy. All done handing out presents, are you? Thank you very much. And good work, Ru. Why? Where's Rudy gone off to? Well, he went home with his brothers. Home with his brothers? But I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Oh, to ruffle his fluffy fur one last time. You were quite fond of the little fellow, weren't you? Of course. Who wouldn't get attached to that adorable, adorably pouty little face? Oh well, if he's happy now, that's all that matters. And now allow me to thank you both once more. Not just for your help with the festivities, but everything you did for Rudy as well. You helped him find the confidence he needed to take his sibling, uh, to make his siblings accept him. Why, if Rudy's exploits didn't fill you with the spirit of starlight, I dare say nothing will. Why, I'm feeling more enthusiastic about the celebration than ever. And as head celebrant, I will do all in my power to spread joy and smiles with so much passion as Rudy did. I too very much enjoyed the time we spent together. Truly, it was a full. Truly, it was full of new experiences to look back upon fondly. Isn't that so, Celebrian? Yet I fear that time has come for us to part ways. After all, I've lands to traverse, people to meet, and sweets to eat. I very much hope to see you again someday. And who is to say? Should you ever find yourself in a pinch with a beast again, I very well might show up to lend a hand. Farewell. Bye-bye. Thank you, truly. I know it isn't much, but please take this as a humble token of my appreciation. And I believe it or not, the saint himself has expressed an interest in meeting you. No doubt he wishes to thank you in person. Whenever you have a moment, pray just say the word. And with that, we get the wind-up Rudy and the Squirrel Emperor. And again, I will read the descriptions later. Friend to the hurry. And apparently there's a repeatable quest here. Saintly inspiration. A certain esteemed personage would speak to you immediately and Amy is ready to introduce you. And with it is magic to prism sunshine. Uh, you can also buy those as well, but I'll get to that in a second. Is it strange that I got so attached to Rudy in such a short time? Either way, I only hope we can meet, again so meet him again someday. Haha, <laughs> but this is no time to get all sentimental. I have work to do, 
And remember, the Saint of Nimia wishes to have a word with you, if you've the time to spare. He didn't mention exactly what he wants, but he ha he was most insistent that you come alone. Whatever do you think it could be? Whatever do you think it could be? Welp, we'll find out, because he's right here. Ho ho ho! Thank you for joining me, my adventurer friend. As no doubt you know, I'm the Saint of Nimia, bringer of gifts and joy to children all across the realm. Amy has told me all about your exploits this starlight season, and I simply had to express my gratitude in person. Truth be told, I was observing you the whole time from a distance. Why, I almost wish that I could have joined you myself, but it is my policy to stay out of the spotlight. Or the starlight, as it were. Besides, you and your furry friends would have j such a jolly time that I couldn't bring myself to intrude. Watching Rudy make those delightful snowball treats and grow into a confident little helper was a wonder to behold. A true starlight miracle. Which brings me to my request. I was hoping you might inspire me the same way you did young Rudy. For you see, as much as it pains me to admit this, I find myself at a loss for new gift ideas this year. And so, if you could spare the time, I was hoping you might spend a little time together. Just the two of us. What say you, friend? And what would we do? And what are you getting at? What would we do? I just want to uh, want a taste of that inspiration of yours. Yes, I'm sure some quality time with you is precisely what I need to rekindle my creative spirit. Ho ho ho! No need to look so alarmed. I won't ask much of you. I simply would have you accompany me on a little stroll under the stars. After all, the decorations are most lovely, so why don't we take in the festive atmosphere together? We can amble all around old Grudania and make our way to Novica's Salter. There are a few spots in particular I'd like to take in with you along the way. Just one would be plenty if you've other places to be, though. If you can spare the time, I would love to see three. And with that, let us be off. Ho ho ho! Ready? Then let us enjoy ourselves a most inspiring stroll. The Saint of Nimia is now accompanying you. Lead him to the designated locations and speak with him there. You may choose from among six of the saints and desired destinations. Apkalu Falls, the Lancer's Guild, the Leather Workers Guild, the Marketplace, the Watermill, and the Great Loom. Great Loam Growery. Furthermore, you must stay close to your companion in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave the saint behind by entering a different area, putting too much distance between you, or by speaking with him and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have the saint join you again, return and speak with him at the original location. This being the location here. And you can see he is now following you. And as you can see on the marker here, we have these different locations. We're going to go to the, we're going to go to these three, uh, just because this is the direction that I had at first. And we'll see these as, as shown in the uh, little image that we saw initially. Little circle thingies for what we see. You can kind of see it through the doorway here. Basically, you run up into them like so. And then you can talk to your NPC. Oh ho! What a remarkably remarkable collection of most masterfully crafted leatherwork. I would expect nothing less from the Homa Fen uh, Fenuel brand. These would be would make marvelous gifts indeed, though perhaps not for children. For one as cultured as you, however, I do believe this bag would be perfect. It complements your powerful silhouette most remarkably. What do you say? Might you have something in mind for me? Ah, but there are a few greater pleasures in life than exchanging presents with friends and loved ones. Just imagine the delight in their eyes upon receiving the item you so carefully chose for them. This stroll truly has been most eye-opening. Doing this every year, one tends to fall into a bit of routine. Slowly but surely, you're helping me remember the true joys of the season. Why, I dare say I'm feeling as excited and motivated as I did during the inaugural Starlight Celebration. Ho ho ho! 
It would appear the Saint of Nimbia has found some small measure of inspiration. You may make for Nafika's altar if you are ready to end your stroll, or accompany him to other locations that you might inspire him further. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way with which offer additional topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to access these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. So we can also go to these other locations or see other conversation markers. Well, we'll head over this way since this is the direction we were going before. And... Uh, you're flying there. Saint <laughs> yeah, do note there's some bugs with the a company thing. So yeah, that that was clearly one of them. <laughs> As you can see, this is a blue marker conversation part, and you can also see that instead of having the quest icon, he has a talky thing, which then you can sleep uh, speak about the marketplace. Ah, uh, but of course, if the perfect gift could be found, where else could one find it but a marketplace chock full of finest wares? By all means, let us have a look around. Out of curiosity, what manner of purchase is that? Is it that usually inspires you to come to these markets? Arms and armor, perhaps? Or foodstuffs? Some, uh, something more ornamental? Do tell me if anything has caught your eye. I don't do much shopping. I buy ingredients from time to day. It used to be belts. <laughs> I buy ingredients from time to time. Oh ho! I see. Prefer to make things yourself then? Tis another quality we share. After all, I am known as one of the realm's greatest goldsmiths. Er, pardon me. That is to say, I'm the Saint of Nemia, after all. Needless to say, I personally handcraft every single gift that I deliver. Well, there are certainly plenty of wonderful items from which to draw inspiration. As always, your perspective has proved more most enlightening, my friend. It seems the Saint of Nimia is sufficiently inspired. Accompany him to the Conjurer's Guild unless you wish to spend more time with him. I also should note that you probably don't want to use the Aethernet shards because he will probably stop accompanying you. As I know, teleporting away uh, or around will prevent the NPCs from following you and stuff. Anyway, speak about the Lancer's Guild. Oh ho! So these are the barracks of the wood whalers. It's most inspiring to see everyone hard at work. Mayhap they would also be inspired to feast their eyes on my own muscles. Oh, they may be difficult to see through all these clothes. Behold! Ho ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Impressive, are they not? You're feel afraid to feel them for yourself if the sight alone does not suffice. No thanks. <laughs> Come now, my friend. There's no need to be shy. Uh, but nothing stimulates the mind more than moving one's body. I dare say I'm feeling more inspired by the moment. Uh, okay. It would appear the Saint of Nimia has found the inspiration he seeks. You may accompany him to Navika's altar once you are ready. And as that was the third stop, because we had here, there, and here, we can't do the other one, so we need to head over that away as we run into things. And there he goes floating again. <laughs> Fortunately, we could still talk to him. Ho oh, oh. ho! As all good things do, it would seem our little journey together has come to an end. And I can just feel the fire of inspiration coursing through me. Many thanks for the rekindling, my friend. Now all that remains is to bring my ideas to life in the form of gifts for the children. Yes, I must be off to my workshop. 
That said, I very much enjoyed our little starlight stroll together. I do hope you feel the same. It was entertaining. It was exhausting. Must be part so soon. It was entertaining. Ho ho ho! My apologies if I got a bit carried away at times. As the Saint of Nibia, I vowed to devote my life to helping others. I believe the two or uh, two of us are rather alike in that sense. And your exploits this season have reminded me anew of just what the Starlight Spirit is all about. Anyone, be they man or beast, can bring joy and wonder to the world if they ch so choose. It is a wonderful thing, is it not? And now, I must channel all this vim and vigor as you've inspired me to craft my gifts for the children. So I fear it's time we parted ways. Ho ho ho! Don't tell me. You're curious about what all I'll be making for them, yes? Walking about town with you, I was struck by the calmness. I felt looking at... Walking with... Uh... I was struck by the calmness I felt looking at the st uh, streetscapes veiled in white and the warmth that welled up in my heart in seeing the smiling faces of the townspeople. That's when it hit me. I could craft snow globes. Yes, little spheres of glass housing scenes depicting the starlight season here in Gridania. The children would enjoy that, don't you think? I would think so. And with that, I'd best get to work giving physical form to my ideas. Do send Amy my regards. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Amy. The saint was beaming from ear to ear on his way out. He must have had quite the time. You must have had quite the time together. <laughs> Where's my head? He loved this as a special starlight gift just for you. Well, I do hope you enjoy the festivities, and if you're so inclined, do check back in with the saint before the season's over. I'm sure he'd be overjoyed to see you again. And we got that, and we get the same thing, and we can repeat the quest, and I'm assuming we, uh, to choose the other locations. I'm not going to do that in this video, I will probably go through that in a separate video. Anyway, so on for the rewards, we have the Starlight Celebration here. Obviously, you see the Sunshines, and we also have the Stardust ones. These were uh, available previously as well. We have the Starlight Mobile, which I will show uh, in my own home in a second. But we have the Wind Up Rudy and the Squirrel Emperor, as we got as part of the quest storyline. And if you're wondering, yes, you can speak to her uh, and get these other items before you've done the quest. But why would you pass up on two minions that are super cute, you know? Anyways, wind up Rudy. Eager to help, though perhaps not suited to guiding slaves. And at once more powerful and adorable than a certain simian king. And then if we load up the minion guide here... Um, if I can find them... Wind up Rudy. Having served dutifully and dutiful wow. Having served dutifully as one of the saint's little helpers, Rudy returned to his home deep in the mountains. But thanks to a starlight miracle, a wandering saint succeeded in recreating a minion of the fellow so lifelike it breathes. And then we also have the Squirrel Emperor. <laughs> Fond of mortal children, the Auspice Orsai once transformed himself into a learned man and taught the young ones their letters. Like the real Auspice, this self-created avatar goes wherever the winds of philanthropy and delicious sweets blow. And just because it was convenient to hang it over my door <laughs> entrance to have a better look at that, you can see the mobile there. It is actually quite pretty. I like the... Uh, different changing colors of the, well, I guess it's not technically colors, but you can definitely see the reflectiveness, making it kind of like the foil that you would see in an actual real life decoration. And as for the minions, we open up this again. We'll summon the Squirrel Emperor first. And just to make things easier, you can see this here. Uh, well, I guess we can't see it from behind. <laughs> there, but we can see it. And don't know if it does any actions. 
Uh, we'll exit the group post just to see if it does. Oh, yes it does. It tosses that up in the air and jumps and catches it. As for the Yeti... Uh, where was he? There he was. Wind up a Rudy. Enter the G pose again. Help if we go pose? That's not a thing. <laughs> There we go. And we can kind of see him. He's got the gift that he was hiring and your little reindeer outfit. And what do you do, Mr. Yeti? Anything interesting? <laughs> oh, I see. He's, he kind of fumbles the present there and then picks it up again. Kind of cute. But apparently doesn't do much else. Anyways. Uh, that is it for uh, this video, and obviously this, as I mentioned before, can, this event continues on until the uh, 31st of December, so you have quite a bit of time, and obviously you'll have to suffer through the queues that are ex Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.